Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons & Dragons. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right, it's time for another installment of The Doctor's Spell Prognosis. I understand this is not a spell. It's a cantrip, although cantrips are zero-level spells. This is the next one on our installment, and it is Sapping Sting. Uh, the caveat to this one it is a part of Explorer's Guide to Wildemount, uh, which isn't necessarily Dungeons & Dragons canon. Uh, it is a Critical Role Matt Mercer product that did come out on D&D on &D Beyond and was published by Wizards of the Coast with Matt Mercer. But it uses a few specifics. So the caveat with this is, uh, and, and the reason I put legal with question marks behind it is you really need to talk to your dungeon masters about whether you're going to include this uh in the campaign or not that you're running now if you're playing a uh will amount campaign or critical role style campaign like uh, the nether deep stuff then yeah this definitely should be legal uh for that okay so it is a cantrip it is only usable for chronergy magic and graviturgy magic um which are things that are very specific to the critical role world um now uh it is one action it has a range of 30 feet not a great range so i don't like that range i like things that are farther than 30 feet would have been nice to see this be 60 feet um it has a verbal and somatic som uh, somatic components which is good so you just you say a word and you point your finger uh instantaneous it's school of necromancy it does a con save. Con saves, again, are the second worst saving throw behind strength. And the one right behind that is dex. So most things have a very good con. So if you are going to use this, then there needs to be some kind of rider. Well, it doesn't have to be. But you, I would suggest using some kind of rider to uh, modify a saving throw. And you can see my video. It'll uh, There will be a link in here uh, about... Uh, modifying saving throws so that you kind of can ensure that this happens. It does necrotic damage, which is actually pretty good. There's very few things that are resistant to necrotic damage outside of undead. So um, so you sap the vitality of a creature you can see within range that has to make a con save, which, again, is junky. Um, or it takes 1d4 necrotic damage, and that necrotic damage uh, increases at 5th, 11th, and 17th levels. 1d4 is not the greatest amount of damage, but that's not why this spell is good. And the only re and I, I, again, I'm not giving it more than a C because of a couple of reasons. But the big one is if they fail their save, they fall prone. And then the rest of your group can go in and get advantage on them uh, if they're using melee attacks. Now, the caveat to prone is if they're prone, um, and I can hover over this and you can see it, um, uh, a caveat to prone is that they have to be within five feet. Otherwise, the attacks have disadvantage, which means ranged attacks. So you have to be very cognizant of that when you use this. You don't want to hit something and make it go prone when everybody's far away and they're all using ranged attacks. Then that's going to have the opposite effect. But if you got, you know, beefy barbarians and fighters and uh, paladins up front that are, you know, all melee attack fighters and they're all you, using things that have a range of... of um five feet then hitting putting them prone is great because then they get advantage and you might be able to get a bunch of crits you know that paladin loves to have advantage because the paladin can get a crit and then dish out uh, a bunch of uh smite evils okay so um i'm giving this a c because it is a con save the range is not that great and it is very limited in in the availability for this. You you know it it it's got to be with chronergy or graviturgy and it's ex explorer's guide to will them out. But otherwise, if this were open, and uh, if I were going to change this, I would you know at least increase the range to sixty feet, and I could probably mitigate that con save a bit. But knocking things prone is fantastic i think that's great so i give this overall a c if a few things change i probably would give it a b and if it was a little bit more open to the rest of the the campaign worlds i would probably give it an a all right that is my uh, prognosis for the day appreciate everybody tuning in and i will catch everybody later